No basic song. Welcome or welcome back to another day in the Stush Live. Today is a very special day in the Stush Live. We are currently, hold up, we're not in focus, hold up. We are currently in Washington, D.C. I'm here with my sis Lily and I'm also here with my twin Onika. So before we start this D.C. vlog off, make sure you leave your girl a big thumbs up. Subscribe to join the Stush Gang down below, become a Stush Gal. And follow me on Instagram at the Stush Live. So you guys saw the room tour, right? We just got here. It's currently... 11:45, and we're about to touch the road um you guys can see i'm bare faced today i forgot my contacts i packed them but the contacts were not inside ma'am i also forgot my edge control so i might just pick one of those up if we pass a um drugstore but we have less than 36 hours in dc so we're gonna make the most of it enough chatting i hope you guys are ready for this vlog let's go ahead and touch the road hey girls hey We are currently at the memorial for um, Martin Luther King so <laughs> we have a few things to see today we have a whole itinerary if you guys watched my last vlog you know I have a whole itinerary we have a whole itinerary to get through so we're currently about to do Martin Luther King Memorial Martin Luther King Jr's Memorial then we're going to Lincoln Memorial and then we're gonna go and see um, Black Lives Matter as well that street hopefully but we we got a lot to check off the list so we're very excited. Y'all ready? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> that look like Lincoln over there. I don't know. That look like a walk to girl. That is if we're in the right place. Okay, there go my guy. Big up you, big up you. <laughs> when Jamaicans don't know how to act. This is nice, really nice. Oh, his speech is over there? Yeah, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice. Yeah, that's his speeches. Or his quotes rather, not his speeches. did a walk to get That's here child. We just, we're leaving Lincoln Memorial right now and then we're gonna walk the National Mall. Even though we kind of already saw everything, but we didn't start here. We just didn't realize like we could have started here, which is here. And then just walk to everything else, but we saw everything else, well, what we wanted to see. We're just gonna try to see the White House now. Oh wait. Really bro? She sound like an Air Force One. And then um, we're gonna go to Black Lives Matter street as well i think that's what it's called and then probably get brunch um but we're doing really good on time it is two o'clock not bad our next event thing is at six so we have to I don't know if y'all can see this but it's really giving brick by brick y'all like wow not gonna have time for this this trip but we'll be back heard the secret service We're 
at the White House. You guys see my daddy. But anyways, um, we're about to go get food now and eat because we're starving. We haven't had anything and eat. Obviously, duh, that's what you do when you go get food. But um, we're starving. We haven't had anything to eat since like four o'clock this morning. But yeah, we've done a lot of walking. A lot of walking. The White House is real pretty or whatever. Very well, well manicured lawns and stuff. things went I just don't want this thick old piece of chicken I'm full okay clean plate <laughs> this man is full okay definitely hey guys so I'm ready we um, got back to the hotel showered did I make up change and everything so I'm dressed it's my outfit for the night something light we're about to head to a winery ah, ah, I'm very excited it's not gonna be like a traditional winery where you get to tour and all that stuff um, but we're gonna head to one here and then we have a few other plans for the night. So you guys obviously have to like stay tuned to see what's going on. Duh. But I'm about to take my pictures. My photographer is here. I have my tripod, but why use the tripod when you got the person, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna go down and take pictures. And then Lily's about to leave but she's just doing her final touches for her glam routine. So yeah. I changed it last minute, but it's something like I'm wearing my Savage X Fenty men's shirt, Zara shorts. Zara Hills MCM bag. And I'm wearing Kali Pink Pepper. Got it in the bag. Oh, oh this shit about to. Oh, clothes oh, on oh, me. Oh, 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 oh
first Sarah. Thank you. Oh, so this one is a Sarah? Yeah. Sarah? Thank you. <laughs> So we're doing Pinot Noir. I know the Pinot is dry. I'm not mad at that. It's real deep though. I'm very mad. <laughs> it's real deep. I want some cheese. It's just not mad. I'm very mad. I'm not mad. I'll be drinking wine with my parents. I'm not, I'm not, I can live with Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah, I love a Chardonnay. My move forever. This my move forever. 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 We've been here um, <laughs> chatting, like really having some good chats. I have two left. Don't know how I got here. I think I have Cabernet and Syrah left. <laughs> We're about to go get dinner and um, go somewhere else. But y'all need to be proud of me. I don't know why I'm talking with no one there's music behind me. But I put on my lashes today with no um, pink tweezers from Cabernet and I see who am I. But this is how you know. Okay. Finito, like Chief Cape. In the night time. <laughs> oh, that's the house with the banana plant. Are you ready? Are you ready for me? Hi, sir. What's your name? <laughs> Alex. Alex? Yeah. I'm getting high. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. me yeah. a little yeah. bit, yeah. man. Yeah, because I'm getting high. Yeah. All right. How y'all rate that wine taste? I mean, we wasn't we was doing wine tasting, but if we weren't like they didn't really describe it too much, but they told us what we we're having. But it was no wine tasting event. We just had wine. It was six wines for fifteen dollars. That's a good deal if you ask me. Dollars. King say. Pero, how was it? Rated it was good. out of ten. I liked it. It was good. You know, I liked it. You late. All right. It was good though. It was really good. But I liked it. Not just for the scenery, but just for like for the us. Vibe. It was like a nice bonding yeah. moment, for you know, us, like yeah. a nice, you know, catching up. You know what I'm saying? I it agree. Was, it, was it was very fun. We had a like, girls chat at the bar and whatever. It was really fun. That's right. What do you think? What, what would you say was your favorite? I definitely like the bubbly. I like all the white wines. I'm a white wine girl, though. Um, I could do red if it's My like a sweet red. The bubbly. The bubbly. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on? been passing for like 15 minutes. <laughs> now I'm vlogging. <laughs> but we're on the way to our next spot, which is Urban Roast, where we're most likely gonna get dinner, oh, and we're gonna do s'mores. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. Then we're gonna find something else for the night. Cause when we say in no sleep, that's what we mean. It's about to be nine o'clock. Oh, I thought that was Capital Road. That's Capitol Me Road. too. I was just about to say that. You're like really they funny. literally have the Capital Capital. Right, like this, Capitol, right, Capitol mm -hmm. Road. Mm -hmm. But it's a Capital Burger. Be like a Let me find out y'all still on stuff. They are. I've never been to Capital Grill. You know why? That's crazy. Why? Because I, never did either. I was supposed to go. Really? I was <laughs> supposed to go because when I was working with Botanical, oh, not Botanical Gardens, Olive Garden, and they were a sister company, so I would, I was able to use my discount, but I never mm. went. I should try to go and their still like, act like I, their food is good. Work at Olive Garden, so I get the discount. Oh yeah, we got this. Wait. Do like this. No, I know. Okay, so we're outside of um, Urban Roast. Really wanted to come here mostly because of the s'more. See, that's a little fire or whatever. Um, but we did do 
food here as well. Um, I got the tacos. They were alright. I really like the shrimp. The beef. Well, the steak was okay. The chicken. Mm -hmm. But we're here now for the s'mores. We can step outside and so we're just waiting for them to bring all the um, ingredients to the s'mores so that we can do that. Okay. So it was coming now, and then we're gonna find a spot to go to for tonight. But I'm excited. I love me some s'mores. Virginity, that was it. Delectable. That's where I'm at. I'm ready. Are you ready or no? No. Are you ready? Mmm. It's a new one. You went to Vegas and you came together that play yesterday. We're talking about top five like favorite songs from different artists. We're talking about Ebo Gibran. So they had eight pieces in school. I got sins on my mind and some M's. Got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. I'm in love. I'm in love with two girls. I want to have any tens. That's why I got ten on my mind. I got M's. Got a lot of M's on my mind and my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. She repent. I need me some Jesus in my life. Amen. But I love me a threesome Yeah, I'm a dilly, this shit my little secret Tryna ditch me to go up, I peep it I can't respond with this noise from people If I love some rats on the bed, you can keep it This shit in the deep end, deep end I dig it, my show won't be in I was broke, had to fix it My show ain't no water, you swim with the love of it I hit the day by tomorrow, she miss it I grab a neck, she look good, then I kiss it I'm not a goat, but I fit the description I like the post, so I get the prescription We walk around with them bands and I bitch it Let's see, but I fit the description. I like the post, so I get the prescription. We walk around with them bands, and I bitch you. This gun ain't gon' jam, and I blow, I ain't missing. dressed because we have activities that we want to check off our list for the day so um as soon as we check out i'll come back on here and talk to y'all but yeah, saw my outfit earlier um you guys also saw um me getting ready i did use that dior foundation that i mentioned um that i talked to you guys about in like the last two vlogs and i do like it i was using it the entire time but yeah let me go check out and i'll um, check back in with y'all This is cute. I didn't even read about who this was, yeah. But, um, we're leaving our bag at the front desk. So on I 
continually for today. Let me hurry up because there's music playing in the cat. We're gonna get breakfast, then we're going to an art gallery, and then we're gonna go to Black Lives Matter Plaza because we didn't get to see that yesterday. So I'll check in during breakfast because there's music playing and um, copyright strikes. No, ma'am. <laughs> We're currently walking to Black Lives Matter Plaza. Yeah, see, I have my actual glasses on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get back in focus. Yeah, see, I have my actual glasses on because I mentioned yesterday that I didn't have my contacts. I have my contact case. Thinking the contacts were in here, girl, they weren't. So I'm just rotating between my sunnies and my glasses so I can see. But we're walking to Black Lives Matter Plaza and then we're gonna grab, grab breakfast and then go to another gallery. Um, we left Renwick. Renwick was cute, real cute. Um, a lot of interesting things in there, a lot of things related to pandemic and Black Lives Matter as well. And then a lot of other interesting artwork. So yeah, breakfast first, then another art gallery. come here with anybody else y'all really made this trip an experience and i cannot wait to <laughs> have more trips with y'all for more turn up more love and more fun period cheers to dc Usually it comes a pasta whenever I get a cheesecake factory, but it was pretty decent. How would you rate your bolognese? It was good. It was 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Bolognese? 7.5. 7.5. Okay, drinks. My, this, this limoncello is kind of the same thing. You want your second bellini? I had better. Okay. I wouldn't get the bellini here. Okay. I feel like it's definitely hitting. But it's not, it doesn't taste good. And you got the Italian. Like I'm gonna do the sorbet if possible for the rest of my week. Yeah, do the sorbet. Thank you. Um, so we did restaurant with $25 for three things appetizer. I got the arancini, the chicken that I got, and then we're getting sorbet as well. Not bad. And then I drink the oxygen separate. But yeah, we're at Olepito. Also, something else in the attic. Ooh. 
in Seattle. That one, yep. <laughs> Onika just pointed out that you could see yourself in a spoon upside down in this way yeah. and right side up this way. That's so crazy. I thought I was just lit. <laughs> okay, presentation with the ice. Mm. Yes. It's given to Lenti. We're at the Hirshhorn Museum. Well, could you roots? From eight until late, I think about you. You're on my nights, I don't know what to do. do. I can't get no rest, can't get no sleep. Yeah. This whole thing got way too deep and we should stop making a big deal out of the little things Cause I got big deals and I got little things I got everything I'm asking for you Stop making a big deal out of the little things Let's get carried away Come right now, you know where I stand I just wanna say all night, all night I just wanna say all night, all night What you heard, all night, all night Pending. <laughs> look, look over there and see where it's at. Huh? It's right here. Oh, see both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. From the lives through cool water. Eating like I'm underworld. I got my tattoos and Shibuya. Police think I'm of the underworld. Why well, I treat a nigga like he quell? How you looking up to me and talking down? Don't you see, I am the big man. All level, I am the I am. I come up with the drunk can and the finger killer can. I don't wanna take no way. that cranberry mojito at swingers 10 out of 10 the tacos are good too but we gotta get our stuff because we gotta head out so see y'all in the next So it's been a couple of days obviously the hair has changed i literally took my hair out the day after because i had a wedding to go to but i wanted to hop back on before ending the vlog because i wanted to give you guys a quick dc travel guide even though i only spent like less than 36 hours roughly in dc i wanted to just run over some things that i did or the things that i did just so that if you guys were interested in checking out dc and wanted to visit any of the places that i went to 
then you guys would have some information prior to your travel. So I have my iPad here, so if I'm looking down, that's why. But first things first, we stayed at the Royal Sinesta Hotel in DC. It was actually located along near DuPont Circle, which was relatively close to everything that we went to. Every spot that we went to, every museum that we went to, every monument that we checked out. And it was a pretty decent hotel, I have no complaints. When we were checking in, they did let us know that they had free wine and beer from four to five, but we were already outside, so we did miss out on that opportunity, but y'all saw that we did go ahead and get some wine later on after we checked in but first thing that we checked out were the different monuments be it the lincoln be it the michael michael martin luther king the washington monument and all of that so we did start at martin luther king here's what i recommend i recommend starting at the national mall because we were walking for hours when i say hours we were working for hours um so i definitely recommend starting at the national mall so you guys can you know work your way through each and every single monument don't do like what we did and start at one monument because then you have to find your way around and when i tell y'all it's a walk like it is a walk so after we did that whole walk we did go ahead and check out the white house that i feel like was the furthest but that's probably because we started again at mlk but after leaving the white house we went to unconventional diner i am recording in my living room so just to guard the background noise but after leaving the white house we went to unconventional diner i found that place on a guide in my google maps you can definitely use google maps to find places for you to eat places for you to stay highly recommend or map rather apple maps but i think google maps does it as well but i found that restaurant and it was a michelin star restaurant so that means it was highly rated it was in close proximity to the White House, like I said, um, that one was around seven minutes from the White House. And we all liked our meal, you guys, so we had clean plates or semi-clean plates. So we really did like that restaurant and honestly, it was decently priced, like really great prices. We didn't end up getting any cocktails or anything like that. I got pineapple juice and everyone else had water because we were just really thirsty, girl. We were dehydrated from all that walking. I want to say we paid like $60, $65, including tip for all three meals and my drink so definitely recommend checking that place out and it definitely is an unconventional diner an unconventional diner it doesn't remind you of like your regular diner that's maybe in your community or anything like that no yeah sort of vibes in there very very nice highly recommend and they had a lot of different options to brunch options and like some more savory options as well so definitely check it out the next place that we went to was city winery so i really wanted to go to a winery during our travel because i just wanted to check one out but a lot of them weren't offering wine tastings on the days that we were there the monday and the tuesday so i realized that city winery was actually offering six wines for 15 dollars. so we weren't able to tour the winery but we were able to try different wines that were produced at the winery i felt like that was a great price six wines for 15 dollars hell yeah so we checked that out so we did check that out they were playing beyonce the entire time because it was a yonce edition so that was cool my lighting is changing because the sun is going in and out don't watch that a restaurant week also started on the monday that we arrived there so city winery did have a restaurant week menu but we didn't get any food there we did decide to go to urban roast um and we really went there because of the aesthetics and because we wanted to do make our own s'mores outside so urban roast was absolutely beautiful nice spot for photo ops um i really really loved the s'mores as well we did get food it was okay but i loved the whole s'mores experience and then we ended the first night at mk lounge in dc which was around 13 minutes from our hotel or so i will note that that spot was really cute the music was popping music was good it was a vibe inside but the hookah was 50 dollars child 50 dollars i said what what 50 dollars what are we in dubai why is the hookah 50 dollars not even in New York. Well, sometimes, depending on where you are. But this is DC. So they did mention that they had deals on hookah, just not on the day that we were there. They had 50% off hookah days, but the day that we went, the Monday night, the hookah was regular price. So we did get the hookah, it was good. And they did refill it, I believe. They did refill it for free. But other than the price of the hookah, it was a cute spot. Um, that strip had a lot of different spots as well. A lot of different spots because we were right near howard university so definitely check that strip out if you guys were looking for things to do in the nighttime. so moving on to day two the second and last day that we were in dc first thing that we did was go to renwick gallery 
really nice gallery very very cute inside nice for photo ops as well and i really just like the pieces that were in that gallery as well we were able to see some pieces that were inspired by black lives matter movement by the black lives matter movement and by the whole pandemic as well and you could walk right into this museum you didn't have to pay a fee to get in at all really wanted to get brunch slash breakfast the sun is dragging me right now but we really wanted to get some brunch slash breakfast so we decided to walk to black lives matter plaza because we weren't actually able to check that off the list the day before and we found this spot called El Piatto. It was an Italian restaurant literally right along the Black Lives Matter Plaza Strip. So we did order from their restaurant week menu that was $25. And the food was pretty decent. We were able to get an entree, an, app well, app an appetizer, an entree, and dessert for $25. And then we just got our drinks separately. And right after that, we decided to go to the Hirschhorn Museum. So this museum was also free to enter. The DC Botanical Gardens was right next door. I didn't even realize it was right next door. But when I say DC is going to see me again, it's going to see me again. Because there are so many museums to check out in DC. I really wanted to check out the African American Museum. But let me tell you, I just knew we weren't going to have the time. So I didn't even look at the museum, okay? But I will be back. But at the Hirschhorn, there was a beautiful garden outside. You guys saw in the vlog that I was taking some pictures there. Check out my Instagram to see the pictures, to see the content that I created while on this trip. But I don't know, for some reason, the Hirschhorn felt a little smaller than the Renwick. Even though the Renwick was two floors, the Hirschhorn was three floors, but it just felt smaller. I don't know. It was just me. But I did like that museum as well. Mostly love the garden. Yeah, I know. I'm a plant mom. I love me plants. Okay. And the last thing that we did before leaving DC was go to Swingers. So we initially wanted to go to this golf course called, this mini golf course called Puttery. But that one didn't open until 4 o'clock and we had to depart by 5 o'clock. So we weren't even going to chance it. So we made reservations for Swingers at 3 o'clock. And that one was $19 per person off peak and $24 per person during the peak hours. I believe we went during the peak hours if I'm not mistaken. They did have food. They did have drinks. That drink was really good. I got a cranberry mojito because my best friend had that and I was like, girl, this is really good. I have to go get one. I also got some fajitas that you guys saw. They look more like tacos to me, but those were good as well. And this mini golf course had eight holes, eight putts. I don't really know the terminology, but there were eight different places that you could play the game basically it was really fun definitely worth checking out highly recommend but the next time that i go to dc i'm definitely visiting puttery because swingers was cool but there is a swingers in new york city i haven't been to the new york city location but i figured we would try puttery being that we had a swingers in new york city puttery didn't work out due to the time but Swingers was very cool as well. I did enjoy that during our travels to DC as well. But yeah, you guys, that is all I did during my quick trip to DC with my girls. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the vlog as well. Just summing up basically what I did during the trip and what I recommend you guys doing, etc., etc., etc. But I definitely need to run it back on DC. There are so many other things that I wanted to do, but we just didn't have enough time. But I just wanted to pop back on here. I look like I'm a skater girl, whatever. I just wanted to pop back on here and give you guys the travel portion of the video before ending it out so i hope you guys really really enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below follow me on instagram down below as well to see all the content that i created while in dc and don't forget to also subscribe and join the stitch gang down below become a stitch gal and until the next video i'll see you guys all later bye in fact i'm missing now bye